the second largest city in Croatia and the home to a number of UNESCO heritage sites, Split is a haven for nature lovers, foodies, party goers, and history buffs. This Adriatic gem is currently climbing the tourist charts, and it's really no wonder why. From a hilltop fortress to crisping on the beach, here are the top seven things you must see when you travel to Split, Croatia. Hey, I'm Sam, and this is Izania. Welcome to our channel. We come from different sides of the world, but both share a love for travel. Follow along with our latest adventures and make sure to subscribe. One of the most iconic highlights of the Croatian beach city split is the Old Town. Surrounded almost entirely by a stunningly preserved wall, the area of the city harbors some impressive remains of Roman history. From the maze of quaint little alleyways and cobblestone streets to picturesque gates, cathedrals and an emperor's palace, the town bursts with ancient culture. Before walking into the walled city, you can already admire the beautiful Roman architecture from the outside. You can enter from four different gates, each on another side of the square-shaped Stadigrad. The golden gate on the western side gives direct access to Roman Emperor Diocletian's palace. This is a 4th century UNESCO protected residence constructed for the emperor bearing its name. The palace originally aligned with the shore, but nowadays you find a long promenade in front of it that hosts many little vendors of local Croatian artisans selling handcrafted products. Inside the walls, you'll also find the Cathedral of St. Domnius towering over all the other buildings. Take some time to roam through the streets and admire all the ancient monuments. Now you'll find plenty of quaint restaurants, bars, cafes and shops enclosed within the city walls. Find a stop on the steps of the main square, sip a glass of wine and enjoy the chatter of enthused patrons passing by. No trip to Split would be complete without venturing over to the neighboring peninsula of Margin Hill. This green stretch of land is a walking distance from the bustling city center. Take a leisurely stroll up the hill through a series of trails amongst the trees. Margin is a great place for walking, running, jogging, biking, and basically for anyone who'd like some peace and quiet. The entire park can be covered in a couple of hours or a whole day, depending on how much you'd like to see. Along the way, you'll come across plenty of viewpoints looking over the city of Split and the pristine Adriatic Sea. Make sure to stop by St. Jerome's Church, a 15th century preservation, with accompanying Hermitage caves carved into the cliff face behind. Take in the breathtaking views of the sea before heading down to Castuni Beach for a swim. On arrival, you'll be welcomed by a perfectly pebbled beach with cool water. If you think you deserve a drink, lucky for you, there's even a beach bar on site. Just be warned the prices demand a premium for the stunning location. Who doesn't love a nice hilltop fortress? Surely the location scouts for Game of Thrones were onto something when they chose this as the filming location for Marine. The ancient Cliffs Fortress has an illustrious history being the site of multiple battles with the Knights Templar, the Ottomans, and the Mongols. This impressive fortress dates back to the Roman Empire and has served as the seat of many Croatian rulers throughout the years. When studying the fortress, it's easy to see why it has been such a critical strategic stronghold for conquerors and how it has stood the test of time. Perched on an isolated cliff, Cliss is inaccessible on three sides. This vantage point and positioning have proven to be a nightmare for any invading force. With its vibrant history, panoramic views of the surrounding area, and importance in Game of Thrones, this is an accessible site that you cannot miss when visiting Split. To get there, you can either drive, arrange an Uber, or find a local bus to take you up. In around 20 minutes by car, you will arrive at the fortress's base. To get there by bus, you'll need to find Bus Line 22 from Split and ride it until the final stop. Like most destinations around Split, Cliss Fortress can get quite busy by day. We'd recommend getting there as soon as it opens, around 9am. Tickets for the fortress are 10 euros per adult. If natural wonders are more your thing, Kirka National Park makes for the perfect day trip. From Split, this enchanting national park is only one hour away by car. Kirka is known for having some of the most marvellous waterfalls in Europe and the best way to experience the park is by boat. These excursions leave from Skradin and frequently stop, allowing you to hop on and off and wander the enchanting footpaths around the park at your own pace. The park can get quite busy during midday, but by leaving early to beat the crowds, there's a good chance that you'll be able to enjoy the park uninterrupted. Don't have a car? No worries. Many tour operators include this destination with a wine or olive oil tour in the area. These tours will typically span about 9 hours, cover all transportation for the day, and can be booked for about 30 euros per person. Finding a tour with a local operator in Split is a fantastic way to meet fellow travelers, support the economy, and delve into the incredibly diverse region of Dalmatia. 
By choosing Split for your next adventure, you've stumbled upon one of the best island access points in Europe. In recent years, the city has become an epicenter for the super rich and their even more expensive yachts. But the best part is, you don't need millions to see it yourself. Only an hour's ferry ride from Split, you can reach the island of Havar. Nestled on the glimmering Adriatic Sea, this historical island is one of the most beautiful and popular in Croatia. To get to Hovar from Split cost about 20 euros and we would recommend going with Jadrolinja. On arrival in Hovar town, you'll be greeted by the island's chic capital city and the ambiance of one of the Croatia's coolest destinations. The harbour of Hovar is plotted with white stone Venetian buildings, upscale restaurants and artisans honing their craft. In town, you can find St. Stephen's Cathedral, illuminated at night, the Instagram famous Franciscan Monastery and even ascend up the centuries old Spaniola Fortress. Havara also has a reputation for being a party island. From beach bars, taverns, pubs and clubs, Havara has it all. If you've got the time, we highly encourage renting a scooter, ATV or car and touring the island. The most common route is to start at Havara town. From there, drive to Dubovica, a tranquil cove with crystal clear waters and a quaint atmosphere. This is the perfect place to cool off before continuing your journey to Stadigrad, a town founded all the way back in 384 BC, making it one of the oldest towns in Croatia and Europe. This region is also home to the Stadigrad Plain, a cultural landscape that still remains intact from its colonization by the Greeks in the 4th century BC. The original purpose of this plain was agriculture, mainly focused on olives and grapes. The tour around the island takes around four to five hours in total, so if you've got a morning or afternoon free, this is an awesome way to see more of the island. Once you've been there and done that and split, don't worry, because there is still so much more to discover along the coast of Croatia. If you're planning on continuing your journey and discovering more of this beautiful Balkan country, then Trogir and Dubrovnik need to be on your list. Headed north, Trogir is only a half hour away by car or bus in the direction of Zadar. This UNESCO protected area is known for having some of the most well-preserved Gothic structures in Europe. Trogir was even voted best city island in the world by National Geographic in 2015. And because it isn't as familiar to tourists, you'll find this city much calmer. It's the perfect destination if you want to transport yourself to Roman times and immerse yourself in historic architecture. Headed south, three hours down the coast lies one of, if not the most incredible cities we've ever visited. As the famous site of King's Landing, the city of Dubrovnik could come straight out of any medieval fantasy. The impressive seaside fortress boasts an undisputed UNESCO stamp of approval. Dubrovnik's city walls date back to 600 AD, but the latest remaining architecture stems from the 15th century. The best part is that you can walk these walls yourself. Make sure to head out early because this once-in-a-lifetime site can get very crowded. Walk the twisting cobblestone streets of the old town, admire the Baroque buildings of Dubrovnik's castle, and be transported to the fantasy of your imagination. Hopefully we've given you plenty of inspiration for your next trip to Split. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.